In 2013, Hydro Tasmania started work on the refurbishment of the Roe Allen Dam. Stage one was to reinforce the spillway walls, a major engineering feat in its own right. Stage two, however, will take it even further. Brian Dawes is the project manager and Chris Topham, the dam safety manager. Together with a massive team of experts, they are about to undertake something that Hydro Tasmania has never done before. They are going to refurbish an entire dam. Welcome back to my office. This is an unprecedented project in Hydro Tasmania's history in that we're uh, excavating from crest to foundation on a dam that's on a live river. There are two reasons why we're upgrading the dam. The first one is when the dam was first built back in 1968, there was a small piping incident on the right-hand embankment. And even though it was repaired at the time, we're just doing a more permanent repair this time. The second reason for the, the upgrade work is just to bring the top section of the dam up to the, the current standards. Rowallan Dam is one of seven dams that make up Hydro Tasmania's Mersey Forth Power Development in Northern Tasmania. Finished in 1968, it is starting to show its age. This dam was built uh, the year before people went to the moon and it was built to the standards of the day. It's uh, performed very well, however, engineering standards have changed and design criteria have moved on. There's been a lot to get the design right for the upgrade of the work. The dam itself is rather complicated. There's a lot of different materials that we used in the dam. It's a brave project to undertake. You never not quite know what you're going to find when you get down to the foundation of a, of a 50 year old dam. Half our battle at the start of a project like this is actually understand what, what it is we've got. Is it like the design drawings that we've got or did they actually construct it a bit differently uh, back in the day? Each of our dams are completely individual. They're made from the materials that the constructors could find local to the site. So we needed to make sure we understood the materials properly and that we knew exactly what was compatible and what wasn't compatible. The original core material they used in Row Allen Dam was actually a highly erodible material that you may not use if you had a choice of materials today. And during these works, we're replacing that material with a less erodible material. So once we finish the work here at Royal and Dam, the dam can get back to storing water and making power. To generate this electricity, Hydro Tasmania needs water, a lot of water. Royal and Dam was built where it was for a very good reason. It rains a lot. But this poses a serious problem for the reconstruction. How do you take a dam apart when the lake it has created is full of water? We need to keep the lake as low as possible to give us as much buffer capacity in the dam if we do get a heavy rainstorm or a, a flood event. We've only got a short duration when we can actually keep the, the water level down where we, where we need it. So we need to try and get the work done as quick as possible. We've upgraded the, the bypass valve of the dam to try and match the inflows in the lake so we can keep the water level down at the minimum level. The bypass valve can discharge anywhere up to about 40,000 litres a second. In broad terms, 40,000 litres a second is the equivalent of filling an Olympic sized swimming pool in less than a minute. Once the lake level had been lowered, construction work could begin. The first step was to lower the dam wall by two metres. This would allow two trucks to pass each other on the dam wall as the more serious work commenced. Well, one of the first things we did on this job was to install a line of sheet piles that would protect the works against a flood during construction. So the purpose of the sheet pile wall is to ensure that all the water from an extreme flood during construction would go over the spillway first and not through our work site. We've got a flood warning system in place that will predict what lake level will uh, attain during a, a very heavy rainfall event. And if necessary, we'll, uh, we'll actually undertake emergency backfilling operations to protect our works. The excavation we're doing here is, is highly unusual and we've enlisted some of the, uh, the best engineering minds in Australia to assist us with this project. What we're building at the moment is we're placing the central clay core in the middle of the dam and that will be the waterproofing barrier for the dam. And on the downstream side of that we have two different size filters, a, a coarse and a fine. And that's just to protect the core so any moisture does actually leak through, the filter will actually get the water out of the dam and keep the core safe. 
we're doing continuous density testing of the clay core as it's being placed. They come through, stick a probe into the core, and that probe will give them an approximation of what the density of the material is reading on the site. They then take a sample of that material back to the lab and do further testing just to confirm that the densities are what we think they are. Time is of the essence with this project. Summer is almost over, and that means heavy rain isn't far away. To get the work done in time, construction goes to a 24-hour work cycle. The 24-hour shift is happening where we're excavating the dam right the way down to bedrock. Because that's the critical phase of the project, we need to get that done uh, as quick as possible. The deep excavation work here is all about getting a watertight contact between the core of the dam and the spillway walls. There's a lot of job satisfaction in coming to site, rebuilding the dam and leaving it in a far better condition than we found it. Even though the dam won't look any different to actually look at, we'll know that we'll walk away with a dam that can actually withstand a larger flood event in the future and it also gives us a higher level of security that the dam is safe for future generations. Well, we're designing this refurbishment for Island Dam to last 100 to 150 years, so we don't intend to come back anytime soon.